Hello everyone, Triple here, and welcome back to another episode of the MPL, and I know this is kind of quick after last match. Last match I actually scheduled for the Sunday, and then my next opponent scheduled for Wednesday, so I had like only a few day, uh, days to prep this. Uh, but for what I did, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I like most of this was just like me brainstorming like fun set. I know the, my opponent this week is Delta Kip, uh, who he's not like he's brought a lot of like really cool stuff, but not like competitively like very serious stuff. So I'm kind of trying to hold it back a bit and bring some like goofier stuff too. I'm still like putting in a lot of work here, but I kind of went like specific again. Um, Kumve is still like insanely good, um, which uh, Kumve is one of those mods that just like if I get rid of the Scissor and the Stila, it can just sweep. Pex is there, but I have a specific answer to Pex. Scissor kind of too, because I do have Corviknight on this team, so uh, Scissor can't really hurt me much. Um, but yeah, if I get rid of Stila, Gonfe can just go in hard, and especially late game, because it will always outspeed Dermanathan. He's bringing Scarf Galar uh, in Dermanathan. His team is Toxpex, Scissor, Rabombi, Incineroar, Slurpuff, Clefairy, Dermanathan, uh, Galarian Dermanathan actually, Whimsicott, Mega Diancy, Celestila and Driftblim. A fun thing is Driftblim is actually a threat. Um, I'm kind of scared by Celestila so I did prep for it really well. Um, but yeah, Gomfei does very great. Giga Drain, Draining Kiss, of course, great stab. Uh, I did kind of have a problem combine the standard for this last move slot because I was half thinking like Aromat Therapy for a Pex or like a Thunder Waving uh, Driftblim or Stone Spore Ribombi. Um, Half HP Electric, which I decided to go for, which hits Steela, Driftblim, and Toxapex actually better. So the Steela is a threat, so if I can HP Electric it, I am still quite fast. So I can potentially like knock it out from a distance after some combines. And HP Fire, which hits like the Whimsical, the Celestila, the Scizor, the, the basic stuff. Um, problem with that being, of course, then I have nothing to hit Toxpex, which isn't a bad thing because of what I have in the back. Um, namely, this Nidoqueen. This is Pex Killer Nidoqueen. In that, if I, I want this to come in on a skull, it has an Absorb Pope. Which raises my special attack if I get hit by a water type attack. The Skull is only doing like 20 to 30% to me. So I can eat that easy. This thing is so specially, like, just, this thing is bulky. So it can eat anything it goes for. And Earth Power and Flame Tower. These are moves he has a hard time switching into, especially at plus one. I know plus one Fire Blast um, knocks out Celesteela from Thunnel. Uh, I'm not confident with Fire Blast. Flamethrower is just good overall. And like I said, he doesn't really have a switch in for these two. Um, Sludge Wave also because he has a lot of fairies. Like it's just very good. And then Stealth Rock is the last move. Um, if I'm low, I can put up Stealth Rocks after this has done what it needs to do. Also, its speed allows it to outspeed Celestila, um, next speed Celestila, and with that, it also outspeeds um, a lot of the slower mods like Slurpuff and Clefairy and um, Scizor and Pex, and actually Instant too. So it, it outspeeds a lot, and it just like hits so many things at once and he won't want to switch in his faster mods because all of them are made of glass and almost all of them are weak to poison so if i can get my skull activated on this with the absorb boat um this goes in hard <laughs> by the way creature of the void can we queenly debut and we have zykert 50 <laughs> percent um that's because this one has fire coverage. This is here to one 
um, check back because I'm substitute, so it can't box with me. And also, as an answer to Scizor and Incin, um, Earth Power does a lot to his entire team. Flamethrower, like I said with the um, Needle Queen, he just doesn't have anything for these two moves. Um, I'm substitute, which makes it so I can't be status, uh, unless it's a fast moon, like Robombi. Uh, and Sludge Bomb, because again, he has a lot of <laughs> fairies. And this thing, like the same speed there, um, I believe this is meant to outspeed. I don't think this. Uh, maybe it does. Uh, yeah, it does. Because these, these have the same speed stat. Um, it does outspeed the Celesteal and everything I mentioned before. Because all those slower mons don't have what it takes to uh, eat a hit from this um, all that well. We have the cheap fake because it has knockoff. Knock, knockoff is one of those moves that in this matchup is really handy because of Driftlim. Driftlim is actually a threat, um, but Driftlim. Uh, and then also it hits like packs decently well with that. Um, I have SD, I can set up with it. It counters all his fairies. It's exactly faster than Rabumbi, which is his fastest move. And he has to bring Scarf Galarian Dominatum because of this. Um, it also outspeeds his DNC, which is great. Uh, but yeah, this forces Scarf Galarm, which is like the main purpose I have this. Um, and yeah, it's just like SD plus Poison Jab does a number on his team, then Knockoff is really annoying for him to deal with, losing items and stuff. Insanely good. Corviknight is a specific Mega Diancy check in that it has Mirror Armor. The only move Diancy can hit me super effectively with is Mystical Fire, which lowers Patek. Mirror Armor bounces that back, and actually a little bit of thanks to um, Crossheart here, I was one of my friends who helped me test, because I wasn't sure if Mirror Armor went through Magic Bounce, so we just tested that and it did. So with Mirror Armor, I yes I take a giant chunk of damage, like 50 to 60% or something, but I lower their stack, and I get to roost up. And I have Iron Head. Iron Head will always one-shot the NC. Plus it hits the Darmanitan really well. Uh, same with Robomi Stroke of Clefairy, obviously. Uh, once it got two. Uh, and the idea of this is just like Iron Head is a good move for him. Uh, I'm faster than um, Incin, so I get to U-turn out on that. U-turn in general is very good. Same with the packs. And Mirror Arm is going to be really annoying, especially also with the Incineroar because it will get its Intimidate Bounce back on it. And then I have Default, for obvious reasons. But specific DNC counter, really fun. And we have Party Time, who is a Double Dance Psyguard. I brought, I didn't know what set to bring on this for the longest time. I decided to go with D-Dance Coil, which actually like beats this entire team if I get a D-Dance up. Except their Manita because it's a speed tie. So I only have a 50 50 shot of um, actually like beating that. But for the rest, this beats his team. I have 1000 arrows and Iron Tail with the coil boosting my accuracy. And then I have a Roselli Berry because likely he'll go like a on this or something. And I get to like easily eat that hit. So this could clean up in the end game. Especially if I get that speed tie over Darm, that could be really, really good. And yeah, that's it. It it has some power to it. Like this team is just like he has a hard time switch, uh, switching in on this. And late game, especially after some Steelers from Comfrey goes in, so he doesn't have a lot of. He has to be kind of careful. He doesn't have a lot of build actually. Like he has Pex and there's Blim. And that's about all he has for like sustainable bulk. So actually, I guess sort of get wish, but wish is also free setup for me. So really hard for him to deal with. And I guess we'll have to see how this goes. Uh, I'll see you in the battle. All right, and there we go. Ah. Uh, I want to pull up his, his last little bit because I feel like that's not what I prepared for. Yeah, no, there's no scissor. 
And you brought the Clefairy. Which, to be fair, I was really scared of, like, Rombombi and um, Whimsicott. Which both would have taken the spot over this, but I guess not. I feel like Lead Corp is pretty good here. Okay. Ah, he is the fairly standard set. That is a problem. Uh... We are just gonna go steel beam. Okay, well, I'll gladly. That was. Okay, I love that. <laughs> Nino Queen is broken. If he doesn't knock me out here, yeah, I figured he would, but otherwise I would have put on a nice hit off there. Um, I'm gonna sub up, sub up on him, actually. Oh, he messed up. I do get a free flamethrower here. We eat those. Oh, cool. Nice. And yeah, you can strength up a sub, which this puts me in a great position. He does bring out the DNC. Um, I feel like a sludge bomb is free here. Uh, we go Corviknight actually. And I just draw iron. Actually, no, I roost here. Pretty sure. And I defog. I iron had him. Actually, no, wait, I roost again. He's poisoned. I forgot that he's poisoned. He, he crits me, which is a shame. And yeah, we do outlift that, which is great. Huh? Question mark? How about you know? Hold up. Ah, uh, we eat that easy. And I go for the sub here because I outspeed this always. Okay, I earth power this. That is fine. Hold up. Hold up, hold up. What do you have to hit me with? Look, okay. He parting shots me, which is fine, I think. I'm gonna go for a draining kiss here, then switch. As he healing wishes. Okay, question mark. What actually is this supposed to do to me though? <laughs> this? <laughs> okay, I draining kiss here. 
Get a hefty chunk back. Pretty sure Draining Kiss does more to this. Clean 53%. Click Iron Head. Uh huh. And then we just beat Incineroar. Oh no! He faked me out! I'm gonna knock him off. There we go. Yeah, that was a pretty quick victory. And I, yeah, I gotta show him that uh, Needle Queen set because if that would have worked out, that would have been hilarious. Although he didn't bring, I I was thinking he could like not bring packs because it's not that great to, uh, for me. Corviknight did kind of exactly what I wanted it to do, so that's great. And uh, let's see, Kofi, I don't know why he revived Insin because I think I just like I literally beat that one v one, and then he let me get the hit on Garm, and he was scarfed, guaranteed. So I knew Ice Punch would never KO me, so I could go Corv and um, hit him. That's why I tried to stay healthy on that Corv. Because I knew, unless he go, went for like Flare Blitz, I could always go like... If he went Flare Blitz, I could go Zygarde and kill him for it. And if he wasn't Scarf, I could um, go Beedrill and kill him for it. So, all in all, that was a pretty great game. I'm glad he, he killed his own Steeler because that thing was a threat. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.